Hello, this is Chris with MyCricketForum.com. Today we're doing our intro video to the flashing of a Verizon Pantech UM175 USB modem to Cricket. I had this when I still had Verizon. My account went in bad standing because of financial problems and I wound up with this nice little paperweight here. So I decided why not try to flash it to Cricket. It's actually going to share the data profile of another uh, phone that's in my possession right now. The ESN doesn't have to be on your Cricket account for it to work. I've already installed the VZ Access software which comes with the drivers and the program to connect to the internet. I plugged in that USB dongle and it automatically detected the modem and installed it for me. This is a 64-bit Windows uh, 7 machine. I tried to activate it, but obviously it being already flashed to Cricket, it's going to fail. Right now my computer is completely disconnected from the internet. Here's the application. It's not connected yet. You can set this application to automatically connect to the internet. Signal's okay in the house. The signal rating is kind of deceptive because it cuts in and out at my location. Right here, it's authenticating with uh, Cricket's network. Set as a public network, even though I meant to set as a home network. And the usage uh, pops up by default. However, since we're connected to Cricket, it's not going to pull up our usage. It'd be pretty neat if it did, but Cricket doesn't have provisions for this. It's probably not the best time to. Uh, show off this modem because internet has been actually pretty finicky today. For some reason even though we're on the Android plan it kinda acts like it's going through a proxy and it doesn't uh, register our location correctly. For some reason it thinks we're in Kansas when we're actually in Texas. Also, what makes it seem deceptively slow is that my computer's loading emails and IMs and all sorts of stuff at the same time. If you guys are really interested in flashing these modems to Cricket and having this wireless broadband kind of for free for no additional cost more like it just go to our forum at www.mycricketforum.com register post something up tell us how much you want to see it
the whole process is actually less complicated than it is to flash mo uh, most Android phones. As you can see, we're coming up as Cricut Communication. That is the service provider. Like I said, it thinks we're in Kansas. I just used this uh, USB modem to get online a little earlier in my vehicle. Got a nice car mount set up. And, I mean, it did the trick. It did exactly what I needed to do. And I could still stream uh, music from my Android phone. It wasn't interrupting the data on that, even though I could have used Wi Fi Tether and shared that internet with the laptop. As you can see, there are a lot of things going on at the same time on the internet. This is not the only connection. In the second test, I attempt to pick a location a lot closer to us. And as you can see, it does a little bit better. These are definitely not the best results I've seen with this setup. And this is the first time I've used this on this computer. In a crunch, if you need the internet, this will work fine. If you're at a hotel for a few nights that charges for internet, this is a very good alternative. Well, that's about it. Depending on the uh, demand for the tutorial, uh, we'll probably post that up in a uh, week or so. So go to www.mycricketforum.com. Thanks for watching.